Hi, I'm Bill Hewitt, President and CEO of Kaleido. Enterprise Resource Planning Software, or ERP software, has been around for a long time. In the 80s, it was the solution for manufacturers who wished to streamline production by integrating information about suppliers, manufacturing, and orders. By doing this, each product company could more effectively manage inventories, improve customer satisfaction, and reduce costs. SAP became the dominant ERP software company, selling their products to thousands of organizations. Eventually, a large number of ERP or ERP-related software companies sprang up because the cost savings, not to mention the planning and forecasting visibility, was dramatic. I remember sitting in the audience at Bond World in 1997 while Jan Bon showed how his software could save the average manufacturer over $250 million. Now fast forward 20 years. For most companies, ERP is a staple of their day-to-day -day business, and it's fair to say that ERP has delivered on its promise. Sure, for some more than others, and there have been lots of notable failures, but that's to be expected with any new technology. All in all, ERP software has successfully delivered on its commitment. And now we're in the 21st century. Web apps and iPhone apps are the chosen medium. So where does that leave ERP software? Most of the applications running today are client-server based or web client based. And while much has been done in the infrastructure to optimize their performance, they're essentially reaching the end of their productive lives, unable to seamlessly integrate with SOA-based architectures. The good news is that all the ERP vendors, now that's basically SAP and Oracle today, are going to deliver new, all web-based, SOA-enabled suites of products. Oracle's already unveiled theirs, and SAP will be evolving their business by design into their new suite. Well, that's all well. I don't know of many customers willing to go through another complete installation of ERP software. The fact is that the incremental benefit just doesn't justify the cost. Most customers will be best served to stabilize their core ERP environment. I talked to one of our customers, a cigarette manufacturer, who is spending less than $500,000 on core ERP software per plant, but they are spending millions of dollars on data governance projects. Why is that? Well, many companies are realizing that the future of their business lies in their data. How they manage that data is paramount to how it's used. For years, data has been a very repository-centric activity, mostly because data has been directly tied to the application it serves. Now, data needs to be governed in the context of the business it supports. So my human resources application needs to share data with my financials and my CRM system so I can get a better view of the customer support costs. Now, chances are each has its own repository and very few of any tools to govern the data contained within. With the volume of data growing daily, businesses have to think more strategically about data. They need to ask questions about how data is defined and governed throughout the enterprise. In addition, the business needs to be involved and accountable, not for managing the data, but for providing their context as to the integrity and consistency of the data. So the next big thing is data governance, not another generation of ERP applications. Why? Because businesses today are more about what is happening outside their four walls than what's happening inside them. Business is driven by intense competition and global macroeconomic forces more than ever before. So how do you turn managing data into a competitive advantage? Well, first, make sure you start at the strategic level. What business questions need answering? Who defines the master data associated with those decisions? How, when, and where does the data need to be delivered? Who will oversee the process? Who will maintain KPIs and other critical metrics? Finally, you should ask where the data is coming from. By taking a more strategic approach, you can effectively implement a strong data governance program across your enterprise. So why do I think data governance will be more valuable than ERP? Well, primarily because ERP is done. It's mature and it serves its purpose. That means it's quickly on its way to becoming a commodity. Data governance is the next big thing in IT spending. However, this time it's as much about business process, if not more, than ERP was. As companies get a handle on data, They'll understand that data quality is the core driver behind business process efficiency and that business process efficiency 
drives profits. So how do you participate in the next big thing? Take stock of your data and quiz yourself. Does your data outshine your business process? Is it always accurate? And more importantly, is it always consistent? Is it seen as a critical success factor or just something that IT does? I can guarantee you this. In the next 10 years, companies will spend more on data and data management than all their application software combined. Data governance will drive the success of our greatest companies and spell disaster for those who cannot adapt. One need only look back at the impact of ERP to see exactly what I'm talking about.